Pope Francis is making his first public appearance this morning amid calls to resign over the church sex abuse scandal. This follows an explosive new claim by Pennsylvania's Attorney General. Josh Shapiro told CBS this morning yesterday the alleged cover-up involving Pennsylvania's clergy stretched all the way to the Vatican. Shapiro did not implicate the Pope specifically. Seth Doan is in Rome just outside St. Peter's Square. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Speaking just behind me earlier today, the Pope did talk about his weekend trip to Ireland and the pain of the sex abuse scandal there, but he did not specifically address the contents of that controversial letter released Sunday. As Pope Francis addressed those in St. Peter's Square today, we found some struggling with their faith. You, you don't want to be open about your faith. Really? It's made, this is, controversy's made you ashamed of your faith? Not uh, ashamed, but it's more of when other people of other faiths, when they're looking at you and they're talking to you, that's all they know is what they're seeing on the news. That letter, penned by a former top Vatican diplomat, called for the Pope's resignation and alleged the pontiff knowingly allowed a sex abuser, Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, to continue operating at the highest ranks of the church unpunished. Monsignor Carlo Viganò's 11-page letter included sweeping conservative ideological commentary, including railing against homosexuals in the church. Viganò did not provide any documents to support his accusations that at least 35 church leaders were involved in covering up abuse. While many bishops have condemned Viganò, others have called for an investigation. Monsignor Carrel Castile has worked for seven popes and has known Viganò since he was a young seminarian. Uh, he's certainly an honest person and he's done his job well. And uh, I think he, uh, he felt that he had to talk. Viganò's letter comes in the wake of that grand jury report that exposed 300 pedophile priests and 1,000 plus victims in Pennsylvania. The state attorney general appeared on CBS this morning. And I can tell you that there is facts, there is evidence that takes this cover-up and what occurred in Pennsylvania directly to the Vatican. The director of the Holy See Press Office told us if the attorney general was discussing something outside of the report, they would have to wait to see those details before making any comment. And Italian media is reporting today that close associates of Pope Francis say he is saddened, but Gail is not considering resignation. All right, to be continued for sure. Thank you very much, Seth Doan, reporting from Rome.